That's why we use stencil for text. This is Dave from Bay Stencil. Hey, I wanted to show you a little trick or maybe it's just an inspiration that I got from having some stencils sitting around. I had a little um, photo session with Betty the other day and I took a picture of her holding up a white card and I just decided to make a stencil out of it because I thought it looked kind of cool. So I have this stencil of her kind of leaning around the white card with her hands uh, draping over the edge of it. Um, I also have a friend whose birthday it is and I thought it would be kind of cool to say happy birthday and to say, hey, this happy birthday is from us. So um, I have the happy birthday card here and you know how I usually hate to make uh, basically a postcard? This is an exception. I kind of want to make this card um, sit in front of Petya so it looks like she's kind of peeking around the side of it and holding it. And I think this might be a cool way to combine two multi-purpose stencils. Like if you have a stencil of your face with your hands uh, uh, bracketing the edge of something, and then you have the things that you want to say, the sentiments you want, if it's happy birthday or Merry Christmas or happy Hanukkah or um, even uh, have a happy July 4th, um, then you can combine these two multi-purpose stencils in this uh, creative and clever way. Let me show you how it works. Okay, you see how I prepared the surface with this stencil? I actually used the, um, I used the postcard stencil, that is the stencil that goes all the way to the edges of the rectangle. And I used it to create a little drop shadow here first, and then I moved it. I just, I just painted just the edge of that a little bit gray, and then I nudged it over, and then I used it to paint the background. I used to paint some white, and then I put some metallic gold over it, and then I used a couple of bright colors on the sides. And then I'm gonna use my, um, my main stencil here to letter in the um, to letter in the middle. So you see I've got a few bridges here on my um, happy birthday. It makes it a little hard to read that happy birthday and I'm not super happy about it. But typically what I would do is I'd go in with an X-Acto blade and I'd remove these main bridges that are distracting me here. Since I've got a virtual stencil and I don't have an X-Acto blade in virtual stencil land, I am gonna fix these by just um, patching it up with my paint. But ordinarily I'd wanna open these up so that I don't have these distracting bridges. Now that I've cleaned up this uh, happy birthday text here, I want to add a little sparkle to it and just add a little um, uh, maybe white or silver glittery something to it. Okay, not a big difference, but I think I like it pretty well. The only other thing I wanna do is I want to um, make really clear where this edge is on the left-hand side. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that happy birthday. So now I wanna add the person who is giving the greetings and that is Petya. So I'm gonna use the darkest stencil 
um, to orient the hand. So I want that one hand to drape over the edge of the card. And then I'm gonna use, um, I'm actually not gonna shade in this area here because I kind of want her to disappear behind the card. So I'm just gonna do these areas here and this area here, and I'm gonna leave these out. Notice that I also put the registration marks in because I am going to need these to make sure that every layer is um, perfectly lined up. Okay, I'm starting to see what this is going to look like. I like it. And now I'm going to add the um, mid-tone layer before I add the lightest layer. And you'll see that it's really helpful that I've got these registration marks here because then I don't have to look to see how everything lines up. I know that when the registration marks are in, that everything is going to line up perfectly. See how the only the edges of the fingers are going to come over the um, the card here. I don't want her whole hand in the card. I just want her edges of her fingers to come in the card. Again, I'm going to leave this area out, and I'm going to leave this out because I want her to be seen to be coming into the uh, hiding behind and coming into the scene. Now I think I like this pretty well even without the brightest, the, the lightest layer of the stencil, which I can add here if I want to. But notice that when I add it there, I'm going to be adding um, the brightest part of the hand as it reaches over into this stencil here. So I want that. I want to do that. And I want the bright layer of the hand so that I have some way of seeing that that's actually hand up there. I don't know how much of it I want on her face. So I think I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use this stencil just to do the hands and then I might just put a very light dusting on the face. But let me line it up with the registration marks to make sure everything is good. Again, I'm going to leave out her shoulder here because I kind of want it to look like she's just kind of peeping out from behind the, um, the sign. So what I ended up doing here is just using um, a, a just not quite white, but a little bit light gray on the hands so that it distinguishes itself from the color of the background and on, on the two hands here. And then I just did a little bit on the face and I'm, I'm afraid that I should have used white, but I'm gonna see how it came out. Yeah, I should have used white because instead of getting that nice effect of just bringing the background color into here, I got a little bit of graying of this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, there's no undo, so I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to lay that stencil up again. And I'm going to just do white on those areas instead of gray. And hopefully it looks a little bit better than it does now. All right, I like that pretty well. I've got uh, Petyuk peeping out from behind the sign. No, remember that I had all this shoulder stuff in here inside the stencil, and I just left it out. I didn't paint it because it looks to me like she's kind of leaning out from behind the sign, and I like that. Again, just to review, what we have is uh, th uh, two stencils that we have on hand. We have this stencil of Petya peeking out from behind a card, and we have this stencil of Happy Birthday. And we're just using them together to create this unique greeting that has Petya showing us Happy Birthday. This is greetings, uh, Happy Birthday greetings from Petya, and this is Dave signing off from Bay Stencil.